What's going on team and welcome back to episode 10 with the Highlanders and Super Rugby and today we take on the Sunwolves. It's the boys from Tokyo and the Highlanders have completely rechecked their team heading into this matchup. We are looking to downplay the ultimate banana skin in Super Rugby history. The Sunwolves are a team that you cannot take lightly but here we are. Let's be fair, taking them lightly. We are ready to get this game underway. And it is the Highlanders who will be kicking off and it will be none other than in the number 10 jumper, Marty Banks. Doing the job and underway we go. Highlanders kicking deep, the Sunwolves of course playing in the red and here is the danger man in the number 14 jumper, Samisi Masi Rewa who kicks straight into touch. Now into today's episode, folks, if you do play Rugby Champions yourself, do check out my last episode because we got some great tips in the uh, comments about um, a better way to play this game, which I'm not the greatest, I'm still learning, but here we are, running through Fritz Al, who's looking to charge his way through. I'm trying to bulldoze, and it's Elliot Dixon. Gets us to the 22. Now, I, I dedicate too many players to the breakdown. As here's Marty Banks away to Jordan Highland. Highland signing through. Gets the ball on slam to Josh Dixon. He's going to lose the pill. Have we done enough? Or we have? Surely, no, we haven't. We've lost it. Well, there's the first mistake from the Highlanders. And Jürgen Zamora, the brave blossoms fly half. Kicks just outside there, 22. Line out again, in the middle it's taken, and here is Marty Banks running hard at the line. Oh, great offload, almost intercepted, picked up by Highland. Let's keep this one tight, shall we? And let's try to charge our way through with Frizzell. Yes, plenty of tips, that double tap, of, or that tapping of A to charge your player forward. One big tip, thanks to CJ, I did not know about. As here come the Sunwolves, oh look out, we've got to defend a bit better than that. And now the Sunwolves coming wide through Lafaeli, out to Fukuoka, big danger here! It's Yamanaka, spies his way towards the halfway line, big wide pass from Gates to Moore. Oh, what an inside ball to the danger man, that is Kinki! Fukuoka looks out wide, Yamanaka going to the corner, the Highlanders in trouble! And we just managed to stop him. Oh, wow, we turned the ball over as well. I tell you what, oh, it's a, a really interesting play there from Ben Smith. We've got someone back, and it looks like it's C.O. Tompkinson, and there's no one back here for the Sunwolves. Tompkinson's hacked us down the middle of the park, and the chase is now on, going back for the Sunwolves, getting there just in the nick of time as Yamanaka, who smashed Highlanders charge on in. Have we got it? Not quite. Oh, we threw a lot of men into that one and the hope that we'll get it back. Lava Sanche is picked up and driven. Again, quick to the breakdown. We're very narrow. Come on, boys. Get a bit of width on this, shall we? Here is Samura running. That's the danger I was worried about. Push him backwards. We were there first through Dixon. It's a picking goal. It's a terrible one as well from Nagare. And it's a big turnover penalty. We'll take that. Oh, I think we've got to go for touch. I contemplated going for goal. But um, realistically, I want it to go. Are we bringing it down? We are bringing it down. I want it to go very flat. I want to see where this is going to go. Into the 22, please, Marty. Banks with his first start, his first appearance in the Highlanders shirt this year. Wow, what a cracker! What an absolute cracker by Banks. And Masurewa can do nothing about that but watch it go over the line. Here's Fakatava, the way to Banks, looking for the charge. It's with Umanga Jensen. Ball is here for us. It's quickly recycled. It's out to Tomkinson through the hands of Highland. Highland trying to hold it up, but we could have got one more wide. It was a try. Here's a big chance for us. It's Fakatava. Full out Fakatava. Break charge! And a try to Josh Dixon! Full out Fakatava has been a revelation 
in this Highlanders team. Aaron Smith, what's your back? For the offload to Josh Dixon. Puts the Highlanders in for their first try. And now Marty Banks has put it over. Looked like it was going to hit the upright there. Very close from Banks with the Highlanders strike. And now we will look to run it back. Fuck it, Salvin. Out it goes to Highlands. Numbers on the right if we want them as well. And Ben Smith's got the ball. And Ben Smith, oh, he grabs away one defender. We've lost a pill. Oh, that's poor from Ben. And now the chance of a little kick over top from Shane Gates. What's he wanting? Is he wanting the penalty or is he wanting territory? It's a nice little kick from Gates. But they'll, yes, take the penalty instead. As here is Samura. Ooh. That was close to being into the end goal. The Sunwolves. Oh, look out, guys. It's danger time here, Highlanders. They've carved this up before, and they're looking to do it again. Throw ball! Numbers out wide the try! Yamanaka scores! Deceptive play! The Highlanders, they didn't come forward. They didn't fall back. And the Sun will strike on the half. Conversion off. Samura's missed it. Can you believe it? From such an easy spot. That's a great kickoff as well. I miss that. Oh, the Fukuoka going to the corner. He could do something magical. What on earth was that from our defence? This is an embarrassment. Oh, look out for that short runner. Oh, no, that is so too easy for Lava Sanche. Couldn't even change to try to force him back. And the second try for the Sunwolves is over. And it's 10-7. Lava Sanche scores. Now here's Tamura, much tougher kick. And he's missed again. Oh my word. Tamura, saw yourself out, son. Okay, we're on a spot of bother here, T. Let's try and... We knew this was going to happen, didn't we? We knew the Sunwolves were going to come out and make this look like fools. We've kicked to the touchline. That's a good one, too. Oh, take some of that. Ben Smith flying down the wing. And putting in a crunching tackle. Here is Fakatava. He's running sideways here, Fakatava. Great pass. Oh, it's a forward pass. Highland was in. What are you talking about? Fakatava with a great ball. Come on, let's smash this scrum. Smash this scrum. Not quite. Away it goes to Tamura. And he clears the line. Great kick from Tamura. Oh, got the turn on it too. Under pressure at the back. Highland almost making an absolute mockery of that. Here is Josh Mackay. Well, we could have got something out of Mackay there. Now we go out to Frizzell. Standing in front of receiver Frizzell. That's, again, another dodgy run there. It's Fakatava. It goes out to no one in particular. It's bounced away from us. That is, well, that is, that is terrible for the Highlanders. Now under huge pressure. Hendrick Tui trying to go inside and outside. Sunwolves with a big chance now to put this one really in their favour. Defensively, we've struggled. I need the ball more than anything at the moment. We're charging them back. Highlanders could go behind us and knock on. Thank goodness from Grant Hatting. We will get the scrum feet. Oh my goodness, look at the time. There's only three and a bit minutes left. Watch the post. We can't kick. Banks needs some quick hands. Oh, we got it. Umanga Jensen does very well. And now it's out wide to CO Tomkinson. Running out of room is Tomkinson. Ah! I want us to use my support rather than to beat the man individually. Dixon away to Frizzell. Frizzell! Oh, I just couldn't quite get it away. Quick ball, fucking Tarbot. Come on, fucking Tarbot. Get it out, son. Tomkinson again. Great pass to Highland. Highland up on the line. Jordan Highland with one. One to beat. Umanga Jensen. Again, just couldn't change the good step fast enough then. Oh, we've lost it. Are you serious? A time like this to lose the ball? Are you having a laugh? Highlanders, what are you doing? Let's get these guys going backwards. Great defense. Three men piling on in. And I love our chances of turning their ball over with that. Forcing them to the kick through Shane Gates. Is anyone back there? Highlanders, somewhere. Don't know where. Now, with two minutes to play. I imagine not much more than that. 
Oh, this is getting pressure. I can't believe we're struggling to beat the Sunwolves. That is just what this game is all about. We've got the man in a, a big hole, and again, it's Umanga Jensen. Huge support to his left. Drive it forward, boys. Get it out to the left side. Fire, fire, fire the ball out there. Quick ball, quick ball. Fakatava goes short to Jack Witten. First time we said his name tonight. It's a good little play so far. Charging forward is set by Agassi. Less than two to play. Out to Banks. I like to go inside here. Umanga Jensen has been outstanding. Umanga Jensen loses the pill. Oh, no. We've conceded Umanga Jensen so good. Too good, in fact. Finally, I nailed the goose step on a half break, but uh, didn't have the support, didn't have the room. We need a turnover here at the line out, boys. Can we force them to kick again? We can. This time they go through the middle of the park. And we are slowly but surely trotting back there. It's Highland again. Highland, the man, has got to do something. Oh, Highland, he does do something. And he gets the support out to Josh McKay, who's done very little tonight. McKay down the wing. Josh McKay wants a beat. Charge it up, Josh. Good work. We hold on to the ball. Now we go again, team. Oh, that's a bit dodgy. Can we hold on? I don't think, no, we haven't. We've lost the ball again. And now we're in a trouble. Once more, put him in touch, put him in touch. Yes! This is too close. It's the damn Sunwolves, Highlanders. What are you doing? A ball. Oh, they read that like a book, but we did even better. We've got it out to Umanga Jensen. Fire a big pass out wide. No! It's a forward pass. And we've lost. Oh! We tried to do everything so well. So many chances. So many opportunities. But the Highlanders choke when it really matters. Man, we've choked. That is quite unbelievable. I had better players on the bench, so I didn't even think to bring on a player like Naholo. Oh, that's annoying. Unbelievable. The two strikes by the Sunwolves before and after half time. That is what has killed us. Let's have a look at some stats. Two tries, both unconverted. We only needed to go over a second time. And the Sunwolves at home have knocked us over. I said last episode, I was going to regret this. And you know what? I have. Massively. We dominated possession. We dominated territory. Still trying to nail the timings of our plays and our runs. But still, this is the Sunwolves I'm talking about. Look at these stats. These stats tell me it should be a bonus point win. But it's a bonus point loss. Unbelievable. Lava Sanche and Yamanaka scored the tries. Lovely Lava Sanche got man in the match. Josh Dixon. Great try by Dixon, let's be honest. But still, how many times were we there in their half? Breaking the line. Just couldn't finish. Forward passes. Knock-ons. Just silly stuff. I mean, let's be fair. We didn't really lose the ball that often in the tackle. We actually played pretty well there. Just, just poor all round. Okay, let's move on. We'll take the bonus point. We'll take the L. Take it on the chest. Take it like a man. And let's get our team back to the best players we've got. Because, my God, that was ugly. Absolutely ugly. Okay, team, I've learned two things since this episode. Uh, round 10 didn't exist. And, well, like I've said in, in past episodes, the depth of the squad is garbage. Ten games gone with five wins, five losses, and the Sunwolves have picked up their third win of the season, and now they are really up in the chase uh, with that mid-table in Australia with the Rebels and with the Waratahs. Poor old Reds, though. Not much going their way. In South Africa, it is the Hawaras by far the leading side. A game in hand as well. The Bulls, Stormers, and Lions sit further back beyond the Sharks who are in second but in New Zealand that loss has really hurt our chances of competing I guess you say with the Hurricanes so we sit third we've got to really fight for that third and try and take out um, the Chiefs and keep them in fourth position 
into round 12. Um, well, yeah, we've had a bye, of course, which makes wonder why that's happened. We are against... Oh, there you go. Well, crap. We're up against the Chiefs, everyone. This is make or break for our season. Win this one, and we're good. Lose it, and we are in a real spot of bother of falling down with the Blues. Now, we have a look at our inbox here. We've got a... Why well, we've got a, a pile of notices here. Um, that was our last game, wasn't it? Oh, goodness me, I haven't checked these for ages. Thought I'd check them every episode. Okay, tough loss. Josh Dixon, uh, Siati Tokalahi, and Jordan Highland, believe it or not, were our best performers. Next game against the Chiefs, Sean Stevenson, Damien McKenzie, and Atini Ninai Saturo are the guys to watch. But, I mean, we had performers that were good in our last game. They're out the window. Let's go back to what is best. We are... I mean, that hurt because we could have got quite a few bonus or skill and attribute points to add to our team there. Unfortunately, we've missed out on that. So let's refix this team. Um, who are we playing on that side? I, I quite like what Leonard Brown brings over Aiden Johnston, but um, Aiden Johnston is quite a bit of a better player. Let's put on, let's put Johnston there. Leonard Brown will be the reserve prop, um, and we'll bring Ash Dixon as the reserve hooker. Um, so there we go, Lomax, Coltman, Johnston are the front row. Into the second row, yeah, we missed the power, didn't we, of Putty Putty Parkinson and Jackson Hamopo, although Josh Dixon did play pretty well, and I think he probably deserves to take that lock spot on the bench. Into the back row, Frizzell was there, but we missed a lot of what James Lynch is... Oh, what's going on here? Why is Hamopo not a five? What have I done? Made it a... There we go, Dixon. Let's get Dixon on the reserves. Okay. Uh, we miss Lynch's big time. And we will put Squire. Oh, no, Whitelock. Let's get Whitelock back at number eight. Squire, sorry, buddy. Um, actually, no, you can play. <laughs> you, you can get the place for uh, Frizzell. And uh, Frizzell can go back to the reserve back rower. Right. Fakatava was really good. But I'll put him in as my reserve half. Aaron Smith will come back to play nine. Marty Banks was okay, but he's no Josh Ioani. In fact, Banks can just stay off the team whatsoever. Um, into midfield, I thought Umanga Jensen was really good. And I kind of want to keep him in the midfield with Matt Faddis. So that's going to stay like that on the wing. So it will be Ben Smith back to fullback. It will be uh, Tavita Lee on the left. The Waisaki Naholo on the right. And... You know what? I was impressed by Jordan Highland enough that he can stay in the 22. That's right, there's no 23 here. So there we go. Next episode, big match against the Chiefs. Looking to bounce back from a really poor run of form. I mean, what was it? Two or three losses in a row, and then we got past the Blues quite convincingly, and then choked against that ultimate banana skin that is the Sunwolves. Lomax, Coltman, Johnston in the front row, Putty Putty Parkinson and Homopo in the second. Squire, Lynch's Whitelock in the back row, Aaron Smith, Yuani, Umanga, Jensen and Faddis in midfield, Lee Naholo, Ben Smith, the back three for the Highlanders as we look to get back to winning ways against what really has become a bit of an arch rival of ours now. The Waikato Chiefs in the middle of the table. We want to secure third. We want to challenge Four seconds. We've got a lot of work to do as the season winds on through. Remember, there's only 18 rounds, I think. Yeah, and we've, we're already into round 12. So we are really getting through the season. We need more of these recruitment points. We need more skill and attributes. And then at the end of the season, we're going to smash them and look to get um, some consistent skill spending in this team and try and build up a very strong little squad. That is me for today, though. Thanks, everyone, for tuning and watching. Um, uh, well, can I say I hope you enjoyed the... Um, Highlanders getting robbed by the Sunwolves, but uh, it's everyone's favorite, second favorite team, isn't it? So uh, we'll, we'll go again. And we'll take on the Chiefs. Until then, thanks for watching, as for always. And I'll see you all next time when we take on the Chiefs. Until then, take care.